Oh man, a critical moment for Bitcoin. This is now decision time. Yesterday, I shared with all of you guys a very important chart pattern. We had Bitcoin here in this ascending triangle. The majority of the time, this pattern does indeed break to the upside. I said, guys, wait for the four hourly chart. Look for a bounce at the 500 EMA ribbon. And it played out exactly as we spoke about. You can see this moving now to the top side of this triangle, the resistance area at that $38,000 psychological mark. This is going to be a key level. If Bitcoin at the third time of trying can break this level, we could be getting a very impressive move here to the upside. Yesterday, I shared with you guys, if you take at least this conservative measured move here, this pattern is enough on the breakout to see us penetrate the $40,000 mark. And this will be a major coup for Bitcoin in a week where we saw the C Z, the founder of the biggest crypto exchange, not only fined and pleading guilty, but stepping down as CEO, a new CEO coming into the realm, but Bitcoin sitting here going, hang on a second, we don't care. Very, very important level here at the top of the triangle. Now, you guys want to trade in these moves, make sure you're in our Telegram group, ijars.uk forward slash TG. I've just posted four new trade alerts in that group. And if you're not taking advantage of them, you're sitting and spectating on this next bull run and you're missing out on all these moves. We've gone from 15,500 on Bitcoin all the way to now knocking on the door of 38,000 and you've not taken action. You're just watching it pump. And maybe you've done some DCAing in your long-term bag. Fantastic. But there are so many great opportunities in this market and we're taking advantage of them. If you guys want to trade check out the links in the description to buy bit and bit get both of those support the channel as well now important to understand it's not guaranteed that you break from this level right you're expecting some resistance now if the in the situation of resistance what happens well a few things First and foremost, will this EMA ribbon hold? Will the EMA ribbon hold? Can we bounce from there and keep consolidating here before eventually getting a breakdown? Or will it need the full range? Will it do something like this? You've got to be careful. This can still consolidate for a while, right? The apex of the triangle, if we were to extend the lines of the triangle, which by the way, if you haven't learned any of this stuff, the jars.uk forward slash TA is where I teach you over 10 years of my TA experience. I used to work as an investment banker in traditional finance. You can see here, guys, this consolidate can consolidate for another couple of weeks in here. Hopefully we don't have to. We've already touched it once, twice. This is now the third attempt. Can Bitcoin break, right? If it does look for the break, I want to see confirmation and a retest before eventually working towards our price target up towards that 40,000 level. And that's going to be a really, really important level for us to watch on Bitcoin. Now, in the great scheme of things, should any of these moves surprise us? If we were to think about it, should any of these moves that we're seeing here on Bitcoin really, really surprise us? Well, the first thing I'd remind you guys is no, right? Because if you look at it, what did I say? When we fell here, and I'm going to continue to repeat this because this is a very important uh, piece of data you need to be able to understand. When you fall so quickly from a certain price level, there's very little support being built on the way down. There was a cluster of support here. There was a cluster of support here. And then we fell all the way down to 15,500. So similarly, when the bullish momentum starts to kick back in, when you're ready to start moving to the upside again on here on Bitcoin, expect that to be the area where we struggled, which is exactly where it did 32 there and then the next level is up here right because that next level is pretty much where we're touching now from 38 all the way up to that 42 43 mark and then we can work our way towards 48 so again we're filling up very quickly exactly as i expected which is exactly why i would not want to be out of the market right now i want to be firmly in the market locked and loaded on the positions i want to be holding for the next bull run and at the same time i'm trading remember investing and trading two very different things i'll link up a video so you guys can see the difference between those if you're new but investing is the dca approach and that's what i'm doing in terms of my long-term bags and i'm trading using the volatility as well so up 1.3 percent here on bitcoin again let me just remind you guys look at the daily ema ribbon i mean it's just so impressive here on bitcoin particularly if we get the breakout now from bitcoin if it does indeed break from this triangle it's phenomenal strength because all it's just done is consolidate again and boom off it goes again that'll be very very strong now remember i shared in yesterday's video i'm not concerned if bitcoin wants to break down if bitcoin wants to break down from this pattern right if we take this this uh, ascending triangle which sometimes can break down about two-thirds of the time it can break to the downside 
the price target all the way to the bottom here is that 34 mark, right? All that's going to be is a retest of the EMA ribbon. I don't mind it coming down into it. I'm happy to nibble in this area and buy ready for the next move to the upside. So either way, however you want to look at it, we're in a very strong position here on Bitcoin. If it cools down, no problem whatsoever. More opportunities to buy the dip. If it continues moving, then great. We can continue to ride this up towards the next level at 40 and onwards, right? So that's what I'm watching here on the Bitcoin chart. Hugely impressive strength here on Bitcoin. That's all you're seeing right now. You're seeing a real bullish momentum. And you know it's bullish momentum because bad news can be coming out and Bitcoin just does not care, right? CZ can resign. He can get fined 50 million. Binance can get fined $4 billion. But the market doesn't care. The market is still saying, despite all of that, despite everything we're seeing, they're saying, hang on a second, don't worry about it. We're going to hold another weekly green candle, which is incredible to think. If I told you just a few months ago when the market was feeling a little bit horrible, if I told you that CZ was going to resign, get fined. Binance, get fined $4 billion and get a new CEO. Would we have a red candle or a green candle? You guys would have thought I was crazy for even asking the question because we were getting red candles for no reason back then. But now in the bull market, when the situation has changed, you're starting to see these green candles. Now, of course, I have shared my views on this. Um, you know, in previous videos as well, particularly when I covered off the DOJ live stream for ZZ. You've got to understand what the landscape is right now. The landscape for the crypto space is very, very different. And if you're an OG like we are here on this channel, obviously I've been making crypto content for a very long time and been in crypto for much longer. You're going to have mixed emotions. You're going to have mixed emotions because what is happening right now is we are seeing a changing of the guard. We are seeing a changing of the guard into more institutional friendly people who are going to run the next phase of crypto. Now, whether you like that or not is doesn't control what's going to happen right if people wanted a five trillion dollar market on crypto a 10 trillion dollar market on crypto if they want bitcoin to run to these crazy price points if they want that spot bitcoin etf it comes with stipulations it comes with new people running the the status quo and so if you don't like that cz has been forced out of his company it's part of the part of the crypto's adoption it is part of the the the, the flow of money that's going to happen the us will not allow crypto to reside if they did not have control of it fact right they would not allow you know you know when they're saying that oh look cz is allowing all of this money laundering to happen on his platform like there's no money laundering in the us dollar like are they feeling okay like no wars are funded in us dollars it's only okay for it to be funded through the us dollar suddenly crypto is the issue here and binance is the issue i mean it's just excuses like do you think no money is flowing from the traditional american banks into uh into conflict organizations of course it is right but it's just not under their remit not under their control and that's what they don't like which is why they use this as an excuse to get their monitor in place so they can see every tra transaction going through uh, Binance now. And so if you've got those people here who really are steadfast around the decentralized nature of crypto, then you wouldn't have used Binance in the first place, right? You'd be using Uniswap, you'd be using your decentralized means, and you'd be, uh, you know, a proper crypto OG where it's permissionless, it's not it's not mutable, etc. right? But if you're using exchange, that's part of the poison, right? You've got to pick your poison. And the reality is, the average lay person will only come into crypto when it looks like the traditional banking industry. That's just how it goes. When it's like the traditional banking industry, when it is that when you lose your password, you can get it recovered. When it is that, don't worry, you know, we're going to FDIC insure you up to $250,000. Then a lot more people are going to use crypto, right? That's just how it goes. So for the people lamenting it, I understand. I feel the same way, right? But it's a natural course of if you want the Black Crocs to come in, if you really want the Fidelity to come in, this is one of the reasons that I've warned against those players. Yes, you're going to get crazy growth on crypto. Yes, the price will be going to the upside, but you're always going to be thinking in your head, did we sell out? Did we sell out cheap and ask these guys to come in only to ruin our our industry, right? This is something we have to watch for. So in the euphoria, I don't want to put a downer on this when Bitcoin's sitting here at 38,000. We, I mean, we'll, take, we'll make money on it, we'll trade, we'll be hugely profitable on it, we'll build our portfolios, no problem. But you've got to understand when those guys come in, now you play by those rules and do not be surprised to see this industry change over the next three years. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you appreciate content, smash the likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you actually want to take action and stop just watching these videos and not actually building any wealth from it. Ijaz.uk forward slash TG. Jump into our community where people are making money every single day, taking some amazing crypto trades and very inspirational ones at that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.